The first step to listing your gig on Fiverr is understanding what makes a great gig list. The truth is, you could be offering the best service of all time, but if your listing looks bad, no one will order. On Fiverr, clients can't try your service before ordering, so they're basing their decision on your listing and your reviews. And as you list your service for the first time, you won't have any reviews, so you better make sure your listing is the best it can be by including all four elements that I'll talk about today. Plus, subscribe because I'll be going over a special thing that you can add to your listing to double the clicks and clients reaching out. First, make sure you have an account in Fiverr. If you don't, I have a tutorial here, but the biggest thing is to create a unified brand. If you're going to be offering a design service, create an account and username and profile that's centered around design and design only. Next, click here and you're going to create your gig title. Creating your gig title is extremely important and most people get it wrong, so let's go over it now. By this point, you should know what you're offering on Fiverr. Let's say, for example, we're offering a UI design service. All Fiverr titles start with I will. Let's start with I will do UI and UX design. Now, this is a good start, but it's way too broad. As a new seller coming into the market, it's best to narrow your pool so you can be a big fish in a small pond and not a little fish in a way too big one. Otherwise, you'll be neck and neck competition with thousands of experienced freelancers with many reviews. So what kind of UI design do you do? Who do you do it for? This listing now becomes, I will do UI and UX design for mobile apps. And if I wanted to get even more specific, I could add for iOS and iPhone. Because of all the competition on Fiverr, if I was listing my gig just for UI design, when someone searches for it, it's probably not gonna come up in their search results. But if I list myself as UI design for mobile apps on iPhone, yes, there are less people searching for it. But when someone does, my gig will be be the most relevant and show up and will be just what the searcher is looking for. Now, there's one more thing you can add to your title and that's a competitive edge. Your competitive edge is your advantage over the competition. Why someone would choose you over someone else. If you're going to put this in the gig title, it has to be short. For me, one of my big competitive edges was I was based in the US. So I just added USA to the end of my gig title and lots of clients have reached out to me having searched for USA because they wanted to work with someone in the US. So my final gig title was I will do UI and UX design for mobile apps for iOS and iPhone USA. Short, specific, to the point, and still contains a competitive edge. Keep in mind that Fiverr specifically says that with their SEO, repetitive terms do not matter. So if you put design one time, two times, or three times in the title, it won't make it perform any better. So it is better to put words like this only once to make your title easy to read and decluttered. Now you should have a great working title. Next, you'll select the category that best matches the skill you're offering. This should be pretty self-explanatory and Fiverr will even help you choose one based on your gig title. Fiverr will then ask you for some gig metadata. These are different elements of your offering that Fiverr will include in your page. For me, being in the design space, it's just going to ask for the platform and tools I use. Just be honest in the section and answer the questions as prompted. Next, a super important section is search tags. Here you can tag your gig with buzzwords that are relevant to the services you offer. Fiverr lets you use Fiverr five and only five search terms. So it's important we use all five and make the most of them. To do so, let's open up Fiverr in a private browser tab. Let's search for the base parts of our service to see what people are searching for. I see app UI design show up here as a recommended search, which must mean it's one of the most searched for related terms. I'll add it to my list, but not everyone looking for their app design is going to know that UI is the term used to describe it. So let me now search for app design. I see mobile app design is the number one suggested search term. So let me add that here as well. Do this several times until you have a good list of search terms to choose from. Now method two is now actually search for one of the search terms in the search bar and now click on several of the gigs that showed up near the top. Scroll down to the bottom of the listing and Fiverr will show you the search terms they use in their search tags under the related tag section. Check out several gigs that are high ranking in the space until you've solidified down five which you think are the best and let's now add them to the keyword section. Fiverr has recently added a new section called negative keywords only available to its seller plus paid subscription customers allowing you to enter keywords keywords for your gig not to show up under. Don't worry about this, it's really not worth it for you, especially when you're first starting out. Next, we'll be moving on to pricing. Fiverr recommends you break your pricing structure down into three packages. My strategy for selling on Fiverr that enabled me to make $7,000 in my first 100 days and much more down the line is called the progression strategy. This involves listing yourself at the cheapest rate possible, so $5 with the most value possible. When clients are buying from freelancers on Fiverr, they will either order because they think it's the best service, aka high reviews, or they think it's the best value. As you first list on Fiverr, you're not going to have any reviews. So it's best to compete on value, get those first reviews, and then as they come in, start to raise your
your rates, which for me took about three months until I was charging what I really wanted to be charging. So you can do whatever you want with this pricing breakdown here, ideally have it set at $5 and offer a pretty good value for it. Now, as you scroll down the page, you'll get to extras. An easy extra to make extra money is to add a fast delivery option. Just check this box and select the time and cost and make sure it's actually possible for you to get it done within this time frame. Moving on to the description. And this is where people make a big mistake. You are writing the description for humans to read, not SEO or computer, and also do not write your description with ChatGPT. It is always so obvious and personally, it is the quickest way to lose my order. Here's the format that worked well for me that I believe you can follow to achieve great results. Start out with a, hey Fiverr. Now we will add a paragraph easily describing what you're doing. Be persuasive and keep in mind you're writing this for a human, for your clients and not an SEO crawler. This is an opportunity for you to inject some personality and connect with the person on the other end and not seem like a computer screen. If you want to take a look at it, you can pause on the screen right now. With four years of design education from the University of Southern California and a solid foundation in design principles and Figma, I'm well equipped to elevate your project to new heights. This summarizes what I do, my main approach and my competitive edge and what makes me special. This will be different for you and is your opportunity to be unique. In the next section, I list off the actual reasons to pick me and all of my competitive edges. It reads, why choose me? Number one, USA based with English as my native language. Number two, video chat consultations to thoroughly discuss your project. Number three, four years of formal Figma and design education at the University of Southern California. Number four, expertise in translating your ideas into visually stunning designs. These are the reasons that clients would work for me over someone else. On this note, one of the best things that helped me get clients on Fiverr and probably doubled the amount of conversions was offering to do video chat consultations. Clients loved it because they could meet with me and explain their idea and I could show them that I had a grasp on it. And best of all, I could give them a virtual sales pitch over the call and get them to place an order while still on the phone with me. If you are able to offer this, it was probably one of the biggest keys to me scaling on Fiverr so quickly. Finally, I don't hesitate to reach out and let's discuss how we can make your project a success. This is friendly and encourages reach outs. Break the barrier and make it easy to get things started. Beyond the template I just provided you, another great idea is just like we did with the keywords. Check out what other people are doing in the space. See the top search results and see how they structured their descriptions and take inspiration and make it your own. Beyond description, you can also add frequently asked questions. These won't help you with your search rank, but if there are questions that you think are common, especially concerns, you can address them here. A common one that helps is a question for, what if I'm not satisfied with my delivery? And your answer can be, I'm committed to work with you until you are satisfied and if still not, I offer a 100% refund guarantee. This helps worried clients get over the hump and order from you as there's no risk. Next, we're on to the requirements section. This is strictly for you and what you need. What do you need to gather from your client in order to complete their order? By pressing add new question, you can write out the requests that will be given to your client when they place an order from you. For my design work, I ask provide all details for your project. This can include colors, fonts, mood boards, etc. Anything you want for guidance. Please include your freehand Figma sketches for your screens or wireframe. What are your project colors? Now let's move on to the most important section of all, the gallery. This is where you will add your gig image and portfolio below. Your gig image and title are the two most important things when creating your gig as they are the first thing that buyers will see from you. And your gig image is the most important of all as a picture speaks a thousand words. A bad gig image will ruin your listing and doom your success on Fiverr. So how do you make a good gig listing? You have three options. Number one, if you have a design background, just get after it on whatever tool you use. Just like we've done before, search your gig terms in the search and see the other competing gigs. You'll need your gig image to stand out just as much as any of the other ones on here. The second option here is to hire someone. You can actually search on Fiverr for Fiverr gig images and find thousands of freelancers creating great ones. Letting a professional handle it is a great strategy and can take some of that stress away. Option number three, if you don't have a design background or don't want to hire someone, I'm going to show you another method. And this is the method I tell most people to use. And that's by using Canva. And I'm going to create one alongside you. Now, before I even dive into this, I have an important note. If you're offering a consulting based gig, a voiceover gig, or personality driven work, you'll need to make a cover video as well. This is a video that physically features you in it. Connecting personally with your clients is one of the best things you can do on Fiverr, not just come across like a computer screen. So number one, feature yourself in it. Number two, if possible, if you're in voiceovers, animation, video, or music, feature some of your works. But if you don't fall into that boat, let's get back to Canva and start designing our gig image. Let's go over to Canva and search for Fiverr gig template. We can already see tons of templates for listing on Fiverr. Also search your gig terms in the search and see the other competing gigs and select a template you think best fits your skill. In 
include the main title and the text in a very visible color and font. I'm adding a little summary below it too that describes it in more detail. Then below this, I'm adding icons to the programs I work with in my design. Next, I'm adding one of my competitive advantages that I graduated from the University of Southern California. Now, and for the most important part of all, if at all possible, I need to include my works on the listing image. You should have at least some sort of portfolio that you can draw from. Now, I know not everyone's skill is going to be visible, but if it is a visible skill, it needs to go here. So I'm adding two app designs that I worked on right on the right. Now we have a complete design. This will be our cover image. It's also important that we have two more images or documents depending on your gig to serve as your portfolio. If your work is visual, these will likely be images. So I'll duplicate this template again. And in these, I'll feature mainly just my app designs, three screens from the same app and have a little tag in the corner. And then I'll do it again for the next screen. If your work isn't in design and it's in text or writing or audits, then you'll likely need to upload PDFs to serve as your portfolio. As you can see, we have now created a very compelling collection of three gig images. Again, this part is the most important. So you need to actually focus on making it great. And if it's not quite getting there over Canva, then I really suggest hiring a professional. Yes, it will cost you, but the cost will be well worth it. Now you can go ahead and list your gig. Your gig should now be SEO optimized, looking great and convincing and easy to understand. But there's one thing still missing and that's the lack of reviews. Reviews are so important because that's how we can trust a seller. And with no reviews, you'll be up against the thousands of gigs also without any. So what I recommend you do is tap into your audience outside of Fiverr to get your first review. This can be from your following on social media, your friends, if you know someone who needs your service. Now Fiverr prohibits review exchanges, but if you actually provide the service and they actually like your delivery, then they are totally welcome to leave a review. And that one five-star review will be putting you so far ahead of everyone else starting out. You should now have an amazing gig listing. Be listed at the cheapest rate and have a five-star review. Clients should now come running in. Now, if this video helped you, make sure to subscribe. And if you want to learn more about launching on Fiverr, I have a free full course teaching every step of the way. It's in my description. So make sure to click that if you want to learn more and I will see you next time.